So our uh, manhole inspection vehicle here, this is the first one we've had, we've had for about five years. But within the manhole inspection system itself, uh, we have our camera head that actually takes the images. It's on a fiber optic cable. The camera is a fish eye lens setup, so it has a lens on both the top and bottom of the unit. And those two images are then stitched together to create that 360 degree panorama image. All of it is processed with the onboard computer system. And then within that, they can control the positioning of the camera head to make sure that we are getting consistent data within uh, each scan and the operators are able to review those scans to make sure that we're getting full accuracy. But other than that, it is a self-contained system that allows us to just kind of go through uh, one manhole after the other. So as she's uh, setting it up, she's about to run the camera down the structure and going down, it is only just a positioning view of the structure. The camera doesn't actually start recording until it comes back up the manhole. The bottom lens is just flashing to give a little bit of a situational awareness, uh, make sure they don't you know, drop it into the bottom manhole, see if there's any obstructions. Um, and then they'll position it about six, eight inches above the bottom of the structure. And then it'll come back up and start recording that 360 degree image of the inside of the manhole structure. And it'll give us dimensions, rimmed invert, the whole data uh, point cloud of that inside of the structure that we can then take back into the office and get all of our measurements and visual evaluation of the inside integrity. Once we get up on top here, they, like I said, they complete the scan and put the cover back over. Um, and then within the computer, they're able to set the top of rim and uh, some of the zero level directional settings for completing that scan. Each inspector is equipped with a GPS web app uh, on their phones or uh, an iPad that allows them to identify exactly which structure they're on. So then we can incorporate that naming system within into the uh, manhole inspection system in the computer to just keep track and organize all of those structures with that unique identifier for each structure so they know where they're at. We've probably recorded over 8,000 structures just in this unit alone. Um, since we first got it back in the fall of 2014. Um, so definitely being utilized uh, throughout the Twin Cities metro area on several different projects. Um, and depending on the location, we can do anywhere from, uh, you know, typical, you know, street type location. We have anywhere from 50 to 100 structures that we can complete a day.